Hi there everyone, my name is Rabbit and welcome to episode number 11 of Let's Play Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition. In our last episode we finally finished making our way through the Enor Mountains and we arrived at what appears to be a town or at least it's the remains of a town known as Agir. We did a little bit of chit chatting with some local guards who informed us that some monsters were responsible for the current state of this area. And now we're just doing some exploring, getting ready to chill at the inn and see what we can find out. So let's greet the innkeeper. Long time no see. Looks like you had trouble. Oh, Vix. Ryudo, still breathing, I see. Good. Monsters, kiddo. Monsters have taken up residence on the other side of town. As you can see, they haven't been too kind to us poor louts. Nice place you got here, Vix. I heard they tried to run you out of town. Stubborn as ever, I see. Aye, and don't think the wretches that came crawling in here for shelter appreciates it. I tell you, if I had a few more men with blades, we wouldn't have to keep huddling in here like hens on omelet day. <laughs> Interesting expression. You retired for a reason, Vix. You can't win your battles with your reputation alone. I can still... Say, Ryudo, who's the girly? You've gone soft on me, lad. Huh? And you've gone senile on me, old man. It's work. Don't ask. Huh? What's that? Oh, <laughs> that person is adorable. Roan? That medal was a memento of my mother. Please do something. Gonzala. No can do. We had our hands full just getting through here. Or there, rather. There's no way we're going back to that place. What's the deal with those clowns? Funny you call them that. They ducked in here to slip away from some monsters that apparently took a liking to their finery. Along the way, the monsters seemed to have lifted some precious bauble from the lad. Oh, it's a little boy? I thought it was a little girl. Oh my god, I hope they join our party. They have to. I figure him to be a runaway and a wealthy one at that. Might look into it, Ryudo. Accidents do happen. <laughs> ダメだ。ダメだ。好きってのはここ一番ですから問題。こんな割の合わねえ勝負に命かけられるか。俺はバカだからよ。難しいことわかんねえ。けど、兄貴の言うことに間違いねえ。ナパイリア。そうだよ
Take it easy the first time though. What? Seems the thing we should be worrying about is finding our way through here safely. <clears throat> if the road is blocked, we'll need to take a detour, but I don't know of a good path. Now, if I weren't saddled with the broad, I could cut my way through these monsters. Hey, what are you doing? I said to take it easy with those. Oh my god, Ryudo, I feel kind of funny. I imagine this is what I'm like when I'm drunk. <laughs> Actually, I'm a sleepy drinker. I don't really get super drunk. I'm After like one beverage, I get kind of tired, so I usually just go to bed before I get out of control. I can't believe that girl. She ate enough cuckoo berries to kill the Pope. Strange way to put it. At least it's finally quiet. She'll sleep well. Not bad for her first time, actually. Whatever. Hopefully she won't keep trying to outdo me after this. I'm getting tired of this high-maintenance stuff, man. Oh, we gotta find Roan and help him. What are you thinking? Thought I'd take care of business while I can. Going out alone? I've got you, don't I? Oh, Ryudo, you do have a heart. What made you decide to get work right now? Have a soft spot for the kid? The circus brat? Hardly. We won't get anywhere unless we cut through those monsters first. Okay, that's, that's a fair point. And if an entire nest of them is involved, well, you know, I work best alone. Tee hee 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 hee. What in blazes? Found you. Oh no, is it Millennia? Who are you? Show yourself. Ryudo! How did I know? It's... it's you? Aw, how sweet. You remember me. You remember my promise, too? I won't let you get away this time. She's kinda crazy, isn't she? I can't... move! You! What are you doing to Ryudo? Same thing I'm doing to you, bird. Ugh! She's going to take it. Now, Ryudo, don't move, dear. G get away. Uh, hey, Roan's gone off somewhere. You guys seen him? Oh, my. What do we have here? Let me free first. What's happening? I'll be right there. Wait. She's coming with me? What is this? Are we just not going to panic at all? Okay. We have a sexy demon lady just trailing us. Say, Ryudo, if you want to attack a girl, there's a cute one right here. He can't exactly attack back a woman who is attacking him. Shut up. Both of you be quiet. I just wanted to make sure that she's sleeping soundly. If she wakes up while we are out, it would give her one hell of a fright, right? That's all. Oh my god. Maybe Millennium will join us? <laughs> I don't even know. Didn't think the kid had that much moxie. Running a one-man axe? No good. Almost enough to make a man sleep wicked. What does that even mean? Two can't walk a tightrope. If the boy wants to make his own bed, then let him eat it too. His own bed? Hmm. He's not our problem. But still, he's young. Very young. Too young to toe the line, perhaps. Ryudo, what's with these losers? These carnies? They're all mopey because the runt ran off to feed some monsters. A scrub like him won't make it half a meal. Hey, I always say scrub to Ryudo. What? And you didn't do anything? What's wrong with you? Go find him. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Millennia. Didn't you fuck up an entire town of Carbo? And now you care about a random kid who ran off to deal with monsters? Are you a good guy or a bad guy? I can't tell. We know where he goes. Yes, we do. But there are monsters. Many monsters. Let's go. It's not right to leave the boy alone in a lion cage. I reckon we could worry till the bearded lady sings. Or we could find the little nipper and be done with it. Hey, hang on. I was gonna waste the monsters anyway, so if we find him, we'll bring him back here. Now hang on there, feller. We'd better come with you. 
We're only circus folk, but you'll be needing some company anyways. Keep your cream pies and seltzer water to yourselves. Your assistance isn't needed. Aw, you're a sweetheart, aren't ya? This should be fun. If your idea of fun is wading through rivers of blood, gobbets of flesh, and gut fresh upon your lips, then yes, it will be fun. Then what are we waiting for, Tiger? I'm getting antsy. Of course, I could just have some fun right here if you want. This woman is a couple eggs shy of a basket. Wait a minute, I thought guys loved girls that were forward. Hey, Burr, just how badly do you want to be turned into charcoal? Fine, fine, come along then, but stay out of my way. See, that wasn't too hard, now was it? Well, not yet, Millennia, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Confident yet willing to listen to reason, just what I want in it. M A N. Millennia, join my goddamn party. <gasps> she is in our party! What? I can't believe it. This is crazy. The girl who destroyed some shit is now in our party. What does the rune necklace do? Plus five act suppresses IP slowing. I don't know if it's worth it. And I don't know how long she's going to stay in my party. So I might just not do anything with her for now. Damn, this is crazy. I can't believe she joined us. What? Uh, now what do we do? Du Bois ran off on us. You were right in telling Du Bois not to go. I don't get it. Well, that memento must be important enough for him to stick his neck out like this to get it back. Important? You mean like my all-time favorite pair of underwear is important to me? That I can understand. Why do I even talk to you guys? You can't get through town unless you knock off that monster living in the cave. You can rest here if you want. I don't think we need to recover, but I'm going to save again, just in case. Okay, other complaint about the music in this game. I don't really understand why it doesn't just naturally loop. It seems like they were a little lazy and it just sort of will stop and then restart. I don't know, that is so weird. I shouldn't have taken my eyes off that kid. Who'd have thought he would run right into that, or into the monster's nest? Damn! What kind of mentally deficient brat would run off like that? Ugh. Now I guess we've got to go rescue him. Yeah, we kind of do. All right, where the fuck? A, to a gear, guard's tent. Let's do a little bit of poking around. Oh, can we? <gasps> Is there something you want to know about combat? Oh, they've got more tutorials. Select a tutorial topic. I don't know if I really need these anymore, though. I think I've figured it out. I almost wish they had given us these earlier on. The rest of it... Should we just do it anyway? I don't know. Moves are special abilities that each individual character possesses. Some moves attack the enemy and some restore the health of your friends. Using a move consumes a number of special points or SP. To learn new moves and power up the moves you already have, you need SC special coins which you earn in combat along with XP experience points. Do you want to know more about moves? I guess yes, will you tell me more? Well then I'll explain. Oh shit! I wasn't sure if he would, uh, when you want to use moves, use the move slash magic command. Try selecting the move slash magic icon. You know what, we're not going to do the last one. Can I just leave? God, whatever, let's just do it. Each party member can learn a certain number of moves. Here you can only, you can use only the moves you have already learned. Try selecting 10 seconds slash. Or I wonder if going through all the tutorials will give you something. So maybe we should do it. We have time. I don't know why I'm being so lazy. I just feel like it's a bit late to give us this information. Don't you guys feel that way? Moves are more powerful than combo or critical attacks, but they use up SP. You can't use a move without enough SP. Yeah, I know. We got that. We got that a while ago. Okay, staying at an inn restores all SP, but using combo and critical attacks also restores... Oh, really? A little of your SP. Okay, so I didn't know that. Try selecting the combo icon, then watch Ryudo's SP bar. Okay. Oh, it does! When an attack hits, a little SP is restored. Did you see that? Yes, I did. Getting hit by an enemy attack also restores SP. Watch Ryudo's SP bar once again. That's pretty cool. It might be a little hard to see, but a little SP was restored. Did you notice it? Actually, not that much, but that's still good to know. I guess that's about it. Anyway, there's no substitute for practice. Next, I'll explain how to learn slash power up your moves. 
You cannot learn new moves simply by earning experience points in battle. You can earn, only learn moves by using special coins earned in battle on Learn Moves screen. Select, oh, I wish we had 2,000. Select Power Up Command. Are you going to give us? Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Here we'll, we will let Ryudo learn a new move. First, use L slash R triggers to select Learn Moves from the Learning Categories. Oh my gosh. Use directional buttons and select Ryudo and press the A button. Okay. I already did this. Move the cursor to a move not yet learned, blah, blah, blah. You may not know exactly what the move does until you learn it. But the help messages at the bottom serve as a guide for selecting moves. I literally figured this out forever ago, game. Here, let's select the second item from the top. Use up slash down buttons to select the second item and press the A button. Oh, select the second item? Oh, I thought I was on it. Now you've learned Flying Tensaiken. Be careful because different moves require different numbers of SC to learn them. Moves you have just learned take a long time to execute. You can use special coins to raise the acting speed of the moves you have learned. This is how you power up moves. To power up moves, use special coins on Learn Moves screen on the moves you have already learned. Let's try to power up Ryudo's 10 second slash. Use up, down, blah, blah, blah. Select it with A. Now the level is 10 second slash went up. See that there are two stars now? As the move levels go up, the acting speed goes up and so does its power, but special coins required also increases. Level 5 is the maximum level of each move. Okay, I didn't know that, so I guess that was good to know. I guess that's about it. You can learn and power up moves anytime. You can concentrate on one move, or you can try learning lots of moves. Anyway, try lots of combinations. Good luck. So did it let us keep that? Because if not, then... God damn it, it didn't. <sighs> you know what, guys? Whatever. Let's just do the last one. Let's do magic. Magic can be used to attack the enemy or restore the HP of friends. You know, just on the offhand chance that we get something for watching all these tutorials, I'd rather just do it, even if it is obnoxious and consumes two to three minutes of time. To use magic, naturally you need MP magic points, but a party character must also be equipped with a mana egg in advance. Okay, well that's interesting to know. Magic is contained in mana eggs, so magic can only be used after a character is equipped with a mana egg. To learn new magic spells or power up existing spells, you need MC or magic coins, but remember that MC are used not on the individual party member, but on the mana egg. Oh, okay, well that's cool to know. Do you want to know more about magic? Yeah, actually, that would be more helpful than going over moves. So yes, will you tell me more? Mana eggs are equipped on equip menu like weapons and armor. This means that each individual party member can be equipped with only one mana egg at a time. Now let me explain the use of magic in battle once a mana egg is equipped. Okay, when you want to use magic, use the move slash magic command. Try selecting the move slash magic icon. Select a magic spell contained in the mana egg a character is equipped with. Here have Ryudo use that. Use the left right triggers to switch to magic 2 and the up down directional buttons to select zap. Okay. Attack by shooting balls of lightning. Let's do it. He really should give us an egg. Zip zap zippity bop. Actually, we've seen this one already. I think Millennia cast this on us. Using magic depletes MP. You cannot use magic without enough MP. MP can be restored by staying at an end. So unlike the spirit points, you can't get them outside of using an item or sleeping somewhere or recovering. The magic spells that can be used are different depending on the mana egg. By equipping a party member with a different mana egg, the same character can then use different magic spells. Mana eggs can be switched not only in the field, but in battle also. Now, let's actually change the current tutor egg to the change egg. Try selecting the items icon. Use the left right triggers to switch to the change equip screen. And select the change egg. Oh, so you can see current and change. Okay. Oh, but that uses a turn. Just switch the mana egg to change egg. Now you're able to use different spells. Try selecting the move slash magic icon. Use the left right triggers, blah, 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 and then select burn. Okay. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, that's cool. Did you notice that burn caused more damage than zap? 
you used before. This is because some magic is more effective on certain monsters. Try to find the best combos. Okay, are we done, Zo? Please say yes. I guess that's about it. Anyway, there's no substitute for practice. Next, I'll explain how to learn magic. Oh my god. You can only learn magic by using magic coins earned in battle on the learn magic screen. Select the power up command. Now, let's try learning a new magic spell in the change egg. First, use the left right triggers to select learn magic from the categories. Use the directional buttons, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, we want to do change egg. The number of magic coins required to learn a magic spell is displayed for items not yet learned. Move the cursor to a magic spell not yet learned and press the A button to learn it. You may not know exactly what the magic spell does until you learn it. Okay, but the help messages at the bottom serve as a guide for selecting blah 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 here, blah blah blah, up, down, blah blah blah. Okay, now you've learned heal. Magic you have just learned takes a long time to act, but you can use magic coins, blah blah blah, same shit as with the, the SC. To power up magic from the blah blah blah, let's try to power up burn and change egg. Yes, okay. Now the level of burn went up. See that there are two stars now as they go up. The level of the mana egg also goes up. Okay, now that is new. I didn't notice that. Once the mana egg gets up to a certain level, you can then learn even more powerful new spells. Oh, that's cool. I guess that's about it. You can learn and power up magic anytime. Which spells? Will you learn in which egg? Which party character will you equip with which mana egg? You have a lot to think about and have some hard decisions to make, but that makes it interesting. Anyway, try lots of combinations and good luck. Okay, that is a lot of information. What, did we knock that over? That's interesting. And, oh, it's the store master. Well, hello there. As you can see, I'm managing to stay in business. Uh, I would guess we have a lot of shit we need to stock up on. Which we can do, and that will be for Elena. What do we got in terms of armor? Lots of shit. Oh my god. Well, guys, we'll worry about all this in the next episode. I'm no quitter. I'm going to be strong just like Vix. We'll learn about... Or learn about. That is not what I'm trying to say. We will deal with all of this in our next episode and figure out who needs what. But I don't want this to go on for too long, especially since we went through two extra tutorials. So, yeah. I will see you guys very shortly in our upcoming video. My mind is still blown that Millennia, the woman who destroyed the cathedral or the chapel back in Carbo Village, is now a part of our team. That is crazy. But anyway, we will see how far this goes and whether or not she stays in our upcoming episode. So thank you very much for watching. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my Let's Play of Grandia 2 Anniversary Edition. I'll see you soon, everyone.